right to know if a believer dies or is captured in the process of fornication, does he or she go to hell? Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. How are you doing today? God bless you. Hope this video meets you well. Well, um, you see, yesterday I brought a video of uh, Ebe Damina where he correctly spelled out certain things. But you know, there is a way to listen to some preachers anyway. There are some things that they will say. Um, you know that there are sometimes there are uh, exaggerations in some preachers words we have few careful preachers who carefully disseminate the truth of the gospel but there are a lot that you know out of excitement emotional excitement and exuberance they they spew some things that sometimes bordering on the borderline of error and exaggeration you know some persons have called out certain things that he said in that video which was not actually my concern my concern was that he was able to prove that uh the writings of apostle paul we are an extended extended and advanced teaching of jesus through the holy spirit that was my interest now things like the holy spirit cannot teach you mathematics now i also want to agree with him to a certain level there are those that would not do what they are supposed to do at some point in time at a very given time because there is time for everything now when it comes to the time when they would need that knowledge they want to hinge it on the fact that they are christians and that they have the holy spirit and so it will look like the holy spirit endorses um irresponsibility so when he was saying that the holy spirit cannot teach you mathematics you know it sounded like um that wasn't true but we can actually take it from the point of um, reality that there are certain things that god have made had made available unto us he wouldn't still go out of his way to come and do them for us things we can do by ourselves for instance if the lord has provided food for us and has given us health and appetite it will be you know foolhardy uh praying that god should come and put the food in our mouth again is not possible god doesn't do that now but i understand that sometimes god can give us an idea a medical doctor can you know uh, uh do everything he has learned in school to save a life and suddenly the spirit of god can ignite something his consciousness and his uh, mindset and he does it and gets results so the spirit of god is capable of doing things but what he was driving at happens to be that whatever revelation that the holy spirit gives you it must not go you know contrary to the scriptures and that is where we base it so when somebody came out to say that the lord jesus told him that the writings of Paul were different from his own revelation. That Paul was saying things other than his own revelation. And we know it was Jesus that saved him and converted him. Now, that was contrary to the scriptures. And I was speaking with somebody and said, The Holy Spirit cannot tell me. Maybe I'm praying for somebody who is looking for fruit of the womb. And then suddenly I dream at night. Or a being came to my revelation, to you know, so my conscious you know, uh, state and asked me, My son, go and sleep with that woman and she will conceive now you have to juxtapose that with the scriptures does it relate to the scriptures is it is it true is it okay now like the man that poisoned his children and two of them died his two of his sons died one survived because a prophet told him that those children had been initiated into witchcraft he carried it out poisoned the children and killed the children now does that relate to the bible so that is what i think Eber damina was trying to point at but then you know there might be exaggerations here and there now having said that so i am not faulting Eber damina at all and you know i don't always agree with him but based on that video of yesterday i agreed with him based on that now but there is the one that he had just said in this video that is for me a no 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 but before that uh reverend banji oladipo has also given his um voice lend his voice on the issue that we are talking about the blasphemous words of apostle johnson suleiman against the writings of apostle paul now listen to reverend banji oladipo You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. I was so disappointed. The supposed revered big man of God say that the writings of Paul should be discarded. That the words of Paul are 
are not the words of Jesus because that man preaching, that man teaching that Ellis will never be saved if a Paul was never saved. Peter, understanding that vision, stood up and went to the house of Colinius. Not like he was really interested. He looked at the meaning of the vision was that even though these guys according to the old have been declared unclean then that means god is ready to do something amongst them now you will understand that peter's mind was not really there but you read the book of galatians when paul sat down with the gentiles peter came and saw paul he sat down with paul and other brothers of peter when i showed up Peter stood up and went to join the brothers. Not like the rest of those silly, the kind of people. Paul said, I rebuke Peter openly. So I said to Peter that God wanted to reach the Gentile nation more than Peter was willing to reach them. But God had to look for a man who we call out to reach the whole world. If not for Paul, you and I, this morning, we will wake up and tell on our way the ball of calabash in our hand he will go before one giving image and he will do that's what you and i will do this year. not everything you see in the bible should be read now you know um, i'm i'm happy that people are talking and uh, so i'm not going to say anything but you have heard it now but one striking question i have for johnson suleiman is this if he claimed that because apostle paul was not there when jesus spoke to apostles you know when jesus mentored apostles apostle peter john and all, all the rest of the apostles and because of that he was not going to take it's true that apostle paul was not there when jesus treaded this earth it is true that jesus um i mean that it is true that apostle paul was not there when jesus treaded this earth but if we if we say that okay because he was not there and jesus himself recruited paul by himself by himself he converted paul no man preached to paul jesus won paul to himself so it was almost akin to the same process that he, he he called the 12 apostles that was also how he called apostle paul now the rest of the apostles were busy on their own busyness doing their own thing and jesus met them and said follow me apostle paul was busy on his own thing doing his own thing you know trying to intimidate the church that was what assignment he received that time and jesus met him on the road and said follow me and he did and he it was told to him what he would do and like the man and said apostle paul became the apostle of the gentiles now but if we must not listen to him because he was not there when jesus was here for the three and a half years three and a half years of jesus's earthly ministries he was not now so i also have the liberty to reject whatever suleiman is saying because he too was not there he was not there when jesus was here so whatever revelation he claims that he received should also be treated as lies and false and his own revelation now i've seen you know many people getting angry at this you will get more angrier you get angrier until you become the angriest person if there is anything like that all right you will get angrier now so that is basically where i want to stop this now but then ebel damina ebel damina ebel damina he has said something again which uh, you know is should i say an abomination for a preacher to say listen to ebel damina right to know if a believer dies or is captured in the process of fornication, does he or she go to hell? Well, the question is, is it lack of fornication that takes a man to heaven? So will fornication deny a man heaven? So what takes a man to heaven? Faith in Christ. So the man that does not fornicate, what makes him not to go to heaven? Lack of faith in Christ. So bottom line, it's faith in Christ that takes a man to heaven, not sinful acts or lack of sinful acts. Fantastic. You know, uh, a fine gentleman, an apostle, a preacher of the gospel, who told me he knew Ebel Damina quite well and knows him, uh, told me that Ebel Damina had preached in the past that Jesus did not condemn um, adultery, or is it fornication, that Jesus did not preach against adultery. So, so uh, had that, that Jesus did not preach against adultery or fornication, one of them, you know, so it is quite okay. Uh, the either of this, if you, if you are in, indulged if you are involved in them or you indulge in any of this, you will not go to hell. Now, it was too heavy for me to understand, you know. And it will be very wrong for me to bring such such discussion here because people will ask me where is the evidence and there is there is a there is a, a slang here that people say you will explain tire no evidence so now but i think with this i believe that there is an evidence to prove now but then i'm not just going to say that and close this for those of you that enjoys this kind of uh 
messages and you wouldn't like me to say anything contrary to it don't worry continue choose what you want to do you can continue in your uh life of uh, immorality there is no problem uh Abraham has told you that you won't go to hell but the bible has told us that no unrighteous person shall inherit the kingdom of god all right so if you are living that kind of life don't worry the end will either justify or condemn you but then it will be very dangerous for you to wait till the end and find out that abel damina and people that preach like him eventually deceived you first corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 now it says know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of god be not deceived neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers nor effeminate nor abusers of themselves with mankind verse 10 nor thieves nor covetous nor drunkards nor revilers nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God and such were some of you but ye are washed but ye are sanctified but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God all things are lawful unto me but all things are not expedient all things are lawful for me but I will not be brought under the power of any now if you look at even look away from the sins that we are outlined the Bible says in verse 11 and such were some of you such were some of you now a message Bible says a number of you know from experience what I'm talking about for not so long ago you were on that list listen there was a list not long ago you were on that list meaning that you came from that kind of lifestyle onto a new lifestyle you're not supposed to be found on that lane anymore so if any preacher is is cordoning or telling you that these things because you have faith in christ jesus and you end salvation now that these things cannot take you to hell anymore now let me finish reading it a number of you know from experience what i'm talking about for not so long ago you were on that list since then you've been cleaned up and given a fresh start by jesus a fresh start that you must not go back again our master our messiah and by our god present us present it present in us the spirit should be for the question should be for demina to tell us that uh, because because we have faith in christ we can continue living our old lifestyle but the bible here has told us we were in that list before amplified said and such some of you were once but you were washed clean purified by a complete atonement for sin and made free from the guilt of sin and you were consecrated set apart hallowed and you were justified pronounced righteous by trusting in the name of the lord jesus christ and in the holy spirit of our god so where you have problem now is that a lot of you now who love to live this lifestyle would tell me uh -huh, what about is it now the the working or not working it that gi that gives us salvation or not the bible said you were that means your past life that means that meant the kind of life you lived before and you are not supposed to go back to living that kind of life again now finally uh let us look at you know there are so many scriptures but let's just look at revelation chapter 21 verse 8 the Bible says, let me start from verse 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful, and the unbelieving, and the abominable, and the murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Remember, whoremongers, whoremongers, all right? So, fornicators will not make it to heaven. There is a difference between a child of God that fell into the sin of fornication and is cleaned up. But the, the, the question there was, if the person was on the act, the person was on the act and this thing happened, what happens? Now, Ebed I mean, I had no better explanation but to make it look like if you have your faith in Christ, fornication or no fornication, you will make it to heaven. Don't attack me. And don't twist the bible if you want to present it just tell me how this is possible now you see i stand for the truth he said a very good one yesterday i amplified it and now even though this video seemed not to be very very recent but i think he still believes in it because he has not corrected it. if he has not corrected it that means he lives in it now the question that one needs to ask is is ever damina living in fornication is he a fornicator that is an answer 
that is a question that is begging for an answer thank you and god bless you see you in the next video let's know what you think about this in the comment section i'll be seeing the next video put your comment down in the comment section and uh, like the video share if you think it is worth it may the good lord preserve you and keep you in the name of jesus christ thank you very much from me to you shalom